Okay, let's check audio. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, people. Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Everything good? I'm fine. Sounds great. Welcome. It's nice to um see you again. We will continue working on this thing that is called learning English. Uh, and we have class number 10. So that's the one that we have today. Thank you so much for being here. And um, we're going to start. We're going to start right now. Hello. Uh, Good also Ingrid, Milagro, Geraldine, Lucia, Kebel, Delmi, Irna. Hello. How are you, people? You ready? Good night, Good night teacher. Nice to be with you. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, don't forget that you uh, have the platform uh, where you need to like complete the exercises, right? Uh, that you have over there. So um, please uh, do those, and don't forget that we're working right now with section number four. That is the one we're working for. So don't forget that. Okay. Uh, um, don't forget that you need to like do the exercises that you have here in this thing. This is for the platform. Okay. Oh, let me see the chat. Oh yes, Heaven, you 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 told me right. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. Yes, thank you so much for being here. Oh, okay, okay. This is the one. Okay, here we go. I will take the attendance today later, okay, because some of your classmates are not um, getting in. So uh, I will take the class, the attendance later on today. That's the way I will do it for the rest of the course, right? I will take it later so I can give them the chance so they can join, okay? Again, as, as I told you before, we're working with section number four. Uh, I've never heard of that where we have the combination of present pa uh, simple past and, and present perfect. We're going to work with this one when we go in context, right? And this is intermediate and number one. And again, this is class number 10. And let's begin with this information about past tense. Okay, Ingrid Maricela, please read the information that you see on the screen. Thank you. We we a finish time yesterday last week. We use the past arrived, saw, was, etc. Past plus plus finish time. Uh, we arrived ye um, yesterday last week at three o'clock in twenty. Oh, two, six months ago. And yesterday, yes, and pass. And now, yesterday, last week, six months ago, it finished time. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, so this information, as you may see, is everything is about the past. Okay, we have the time expression here. Okay, um, and everything that we talk here is pretty much so it, it happened and ready right so it's not gonna happen anymore right and we have the typical expressions yesterday last week at three o'clock in 2002 six months ago okay also uh, here we have it uh just to be sure that this is the past and this is the present now right so that's and that's the difference we're, we're we're having here right just to just to be sure that the thing we're talking about here is everything in the past okay good evening um, good evening and welcome nice to have you we're gonna have these examples okay where we have do not use the present perfect okay with a finished time okay so if, if the action or the time is finished uh we are going to use, use um, the past simple pretty much yes um the, Okay, Sarai, can you please read these examples? Thank you. Okay. 
Quedamos al aire. Participé. Bueno. Ahí. Oh, I think she has a problem. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. I'm sorry. So, um, yeah. So everybody's getting sick. Okay. Uh, Mirna. Hello, Mirna. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Please read the examples. Thank you. Okay. Uh, do not use the present perfect. Have a bed, have a don, have a bean, um, etc. <laughs> With a finish. Time. Time. I saw Paula yesterday, not I have seen. Um, ahí, perdón, teacher, eh, lo que está en de paréntesis es el, es el presente. No, this is present perfect, present perfect. Present perfect, mm -hmm. ok. Yes. Where, 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 where you on Sunday afternoon? No, where have you been? Uh, we didn't have a holiday last year. Not we haven't had. What did you do last night? I stayed at home. William Shakespeare. Live from... Um, los, uh, los números me cuestan, teacher, pronunciarlos. Okay. 1564. 1564. 2 16 uh, 15 16 16 ok he was a writer he wrote many plays and poems thank you use the, ok use the past to ask when or what time When did you buy your comp computer? Not when have you bought. What time did Andy go out? Not what time has Andy gone out? Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. So again, just to be clear about this thing, when do we need to use the past tense and not the present perfect? So when the uh, actions are done already, like everything is like, uh, it is gone, right? So we need to be sure that the action that we're talking about is in the past, yeah? And here at the end, we have these questions. When did you buy your computer? So when it comes to ask about the past things, we need to use the past tense, not the present perfect, okay? So that's pretty much, um, these questions are telling us, right? So, so just to be clear, if we want to know what happened in the past or when did that happen, we use past tense, not, not the present perfect. Um, here, as you may see, we have a chart where we have the present perfect and the past tense, right? Uh, excuse me, my phone. And that's... Sorry. Uh, let me... a minute. Sandra, Elizabeth Asensio, please read the examples that we have here and the examples that we have here. Excuse me. My gosh. Yes, I will take the attendance later on today, so don't, don't worry, okay? Don't worry. Okay, so... Okay, Melvin Diaz, please, Melvin, read these examples. Melvin Diaz? Yes, teacher. Uh, compare, present perfect. I have lost my key. I can't find it now. 
Ben has gone home. He isn't here now. Have you seen Kate? Where is she now? Past. I lost my key last week. Ben went home 10 minutes, uh, 10 minutes ago. Did you see Kate on Sunday? Let's continue, please. Carry on. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Have you ever been to Spain in your life until now? My friend is a writer. Uh, he has written many books. Uh, the letter hasn't arrived yet. Uh, we have lived in Singapore for six years. We live there now. Uh, did you go to Spain last year? Shakespeare wrote, uh, I'm sorry, Shakespeare wrote many plays and poems. Uh, the letter didn't arrive yesterday. He lived in Glasgow, in Glas Glasgow for six years, but now we live in Singapore. Thank you. Yesterday, right? Very good. Yeah. So, if you see here, like we have like both well, like past, you know, so we have the present perfect. So that means this is the basic way where we can use the present perfect. The action starting in past till now, right? The way we are right now. So that's why we can combine these two tenses, okay? And we can talk about things that um things that let's say we are still experiences or or experiences that that we uh got right in our life. We combine these two together so we can make a, a whole uh let's say idea about right. Have you ever eaten something, right? Yes, I have, and then you use the past and just to be clear about this, but just to close that, just to communicate, hey, yes, I did it, but I did it in the past, right? Yeah. Um, I will play the video right now. This right now, this one, the one that we saw, uh, we watched yesterday, because uh, I would like to um, or like review a little bit of the grammar content that we're having. Okay, so I'll give it a minute. Let's, let's listen and watch. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? 
And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on giving more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom, it's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now the question is related to uh, the example that you see there, I tried him last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information. They were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect. And then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect and um, and so let me do that at this time first of all uh, we should learn the following concept that we're gonna use have have it's an auxiliary verb and we're gonna use have whenever I talk about the pronouns I you we and they and then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he she or it or in other words the person right um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. Let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has. As I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then this follows the subject. Then this follows the word ever, and then the verb in its past participle form, and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? And by the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it. Um, and um, the question will still be correct, but in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing um, for our next question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question, either yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And then this next sentence, we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement. And the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my 
experience in the past. So in this case, I'm going to say I tried them last month. So this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month. So I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now all the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both. The present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue to the present. And then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever try sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience, okay? So if you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month. Oh, sorry. I ate sushi last month. Oh, really? And then whenever you start talking about that past experience, the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past. Did you like did you like it? Now, how would you respond to that? Well, you can you can respond to that by answering yes, I did or no, I didn't. I thought it was great. Or, I didn't like it. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic? I'm going to stop it here. And I need you to write these questions in your notebook. These four questions. Write them down. Answer the questions. Um, and then using a past tense, I need you to talk about the experience you have. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you go write, have you ever been to a, a picnic at the beach? So um, let me know if the answer is positive or negative, right? And at the end, you need to write another sentence in past tense just to close um, the context of this question. I, I don't know if, if you get the instruction. People at home, do you understand yes, the instruction? Sir. Yes, oh. teacher. Okay. Yes, if, I if, have. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, because it was in present, in present simple. <laughs> Oh, okay. Do you understand? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you switch to present. Okay. Yes. Teacher, uh, okay. you want uh, we write uh, the sent the, the question and the answer. No. Yeah. Write the questions, answer the questions using uh present perfect, and give me a sentence in past just to close the idea of the question. Yes. Okay, it doesn't okay. matter if, if the answer is negative or, or affirmative. Okay, uh, so, you, so you can do it, very good. 
If you do not understand, let me know in the chat or here. Okay, anytime. So I can explain to you what are we doing. Okay. And and the main like like idea of using um the simple past tense and the present perfect together is that um we can talk about experience, okay, experiences, right? As you may know, when we talk about experience, we need to use the present perfect. So to figure it out, oh, have you ever, have you ever, okay? And then you can answer, oh, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. But then you need to tell me a sentence in the past because the, I mean, the experience was in the past. Yes, so that's why we need to combine these two together so we can talk about it, yes. Okay. Okay, I will give you three more minutes, three more minutes for this one, and then I will start uh, taking the attendance. And after that, I will um, ask you um, what are your answers about this. One. Okay. So what you need to do after the attendance, you will like read the question and then give me your answer. Okay. Oh, Sandra, let me see. Uh, oh, Sandra, in that one, you, you have a mistake because the next sentence, for example, yes, I have seen it. I mean, that is correct, okay? But the other sentence is incorrect because you are using the present simple, the verb to be, okay? okay. So okay. in that one, you need to change that simple present to past, yes? And, and Sandra, it is about this question. Do you see these questions on the screen? This one? Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? So these ones, these ones, you need to write it down in your notebook and you need to answer these four questions. Okay? Okay. Oh, okay. well, Geraldine, in that one, you're using two verbs, being and play. So maybe you can delete being. And you can say, have you ever played tennis? Have you ever played tennis? Yeah. That one, yes. Okay. That one, yes. But it been, uh, no, it's, 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 so you're using two verbs. So you delete uh, been. Okay. Okay. I say, perfect. I will say the attendance. When you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Camilo? Ana Beatriz 
Martínez de López. Sí, eh, oh, yeah, no, no, sí, yeah. ok. Uh, one more time. No, ya que está okay, no problem. I'm, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? So please say, say I'm here. Okay, thank you so much, Ana. Very good, I got you here. César. Aparicio. No, César. Ok. Um, Tadwin Blanco. Tadwin. No, ok. Delmi Amaya. Delmi Amaya. No. Sir, excuse Hi, me, sir. Thank you, Delmi. Excuse me. I'm sorry, sir. I missed the, the last question. Oh, oh, sure, sure. Let me let me show you really quick. Show it for me, please. Oh, sure, no problem. Okay. Thanks, sir. And, and that's a good thing. So, so save it, save it, please, because I'm going to take the attendance. Okay. Thank you so much. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Thanks, sir. My pleasure. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, let's carry on with Emilio. Emilio? Emilio? No? Okay. I think Emilio wrote in the chat, right? I guess. Um, yes, Emilio wrote in the chat. Thank you, Emilio. Okay. Thank you so much. I, I got your attendance here. Okay. Um, Stephanie Martinez? Okay, Stephanie Martinez? No? Okay, okay. Uh, Geraldine, you're here, right? Yes. Perfect. Also, um, Heaven is here you. as well. Thank you, Heaven. Um, Ingrid Flores? Present, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Irma Segura? Present. Very good, Irma. Great job. You're doing it very good. Keep working like that. Okay. Jose Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Jose Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Ah, I'm sorry, Jesus. Jesus He's the present teacher. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I don't know why I have that one. I apologize. Jose Vaquerano. Here, teacher. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Juan David Madrid Melendez. One. Present teacher, present, present, present. Thank you so much. Uh, let me see, Catherine. See, Catherine. Catherine, okay. Let me see. <coughs> Catherine, Catherine Jamilet. Okay. Um, Kevin, you're here, right, Kevin? Thank you so much. Lucia Cepeda. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Uh, Melvin, also I think Melvin is here. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Melvin. Nice to have you. Um, Daniela Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Jesus. Yes, Sarai, you're here, right, Sarai? I'm sorry. Because you have your second name, okay. Thank you. I got you in the list, okay? So don't worry. Uh, and don't get mad, okay? Don't get mad, I'm sorry. Milagro de la Paz. Milagro de la Paz. I'm here, sir. I'm here. I'm here. I'm sorry. Oh, very uh, good. I, I was reading my exercise. <laughs> That's very good. And also, I'm checking <laughs> that you're almost done with everything. That's very good. You're working like that, okay? Even though your <laughs> job is hard, you always... In your back. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mirna Landos. Presentation. And welcome. Nelson. Hello, Nelson. It's... It is Nelson. Nelson, are you here? No, not today. Patricia Esmeralda. Hello, Patricia. Hello, teacher. Present. That's wonderful, Grimmel. Hey, Ronald Alexis, you're here, right? Gentlemen? 
I'm here, teacher. Bye. Wonderful. Um, Patricia Castellanos. Here I am, teacher. Thank you so much. Welcome. Uh, let me see. Oh, Emilio. Ahorita, Emilio. Give me a minute, okay? Just give me a minute. Uh, Emilio. Okay. Um, Roxana Diaz. Hello, Roxana. No, she isn't. Sandra Asensio. I'm here, teacher. I'm One. Roxana. Great job you're doing in the platform, okay? Thank you so much for being present. Sandra Rivas. Present. Thank you so much, Sandra. Nice to have you, okay? Just a quick reminder, don't forget that you have the um, exercises in the platform. Please um, work on those. Okay, we're going to start with... I didn't hear my name, teacher. Oh, you... you... <laughs> okay, uh, Camilo, right, Rivera? Yeah, present. I got, I got you here. Okay, I got you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank Just you. Let me check the chat really quick here. Um, Sandra Rivas. Okay, Sandra Rivas. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, yes, very good. What is okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, let me check this one. Okay, let's begin with you, uh, Juan David. Thank you. See the questions here? Read the questions and give me your answers, please. Thank you. Hello, Juan David? Hello, hello. Hola, excuse me? Yes, please. Read the questions and give me your answers. Thank you. Uh, sorry, teacher. I don't don't hear very good. I don't. What about the rest? Do you hear me nice and clear? Yeah. Yes. Yes, sure. Yes, I can. Yes, yes, yes. You do right. Thank you so much. Okay, so maybe the internet connection. There is a problem with that. Uh, we're gonna work with Patricia Esmeralda Garcia. Patricia. Please read your questions and give me your answers, please. I'm sorry, okay. So, uh, question number one Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? And my answer. Um, yes, I had a picnic on the beach. It, it was in March when we celebrated my nephew's birthday. Wonderful. And, uh, question two, have you ever eaten Mexican food? I have eaten Mexican food. I love to eat tacos and burritos. Um, I, Question number three, have you ever visited Europe? Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> In the picture. And question number four, have you ever eaten exotic food? And I don't remember exotic food. No, I haven't. <laughs> okay, very good. Now we're going to have, very good, great job. We're going to have a combination between Milagro de la Paz and Camilo. Okay, Camilo, you are going to ask her the first two questions and you, Milagro, you are going to answer those questions. And then, Milagro, you will ask him the other two questions and Camilo will answer those two questions. Yes? Okay, sir. You I'm got ready. it, Camilo? Okay, I got it. Perfect. Okay. Have you ever visited Europe? I guess it, it was the, the first one, no? Yeah, visit it, visit it. Have you ever visited Europe? Thank well, you no, I haven't. But I visited Costa Rica last year. Mm -hmm. Have you ever eaten Mexican food? 
<laughs> yes, I have. It, it was delicious. Mm -hmm. mm, have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Yes, I have. I go almost every weekend. And have you ever eaten exotic food? No, I haven't. I don't think it's going to be delicious. Okay. Yeah? Yes, Camilo. What happened is uh, when, I, when I hear your answers, right? I know your answers are correct, basically. But in the context we're talking, because it's an experience that you like, um, I don't know. Uh, for example, can you give me the uh, the answer with the number three, please? Have you ever visited Europe? No, I haven't. I think it's too far away for me. Okay. But yeah, that makes sense. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Very good. We're going to move on to another one, which is complete the conversation. Use the past tense of the present perfect of the verbs in given, right? We have verbs in parentheses, as you may see that, right? And this one is quite difficult because we need to understand when do we use the present simple, I'm sorry, the past simple, or when do we use uh, the present perfect, okay? So uh, let's begin with number one. It says, Alexa, right? I went to a Thai restaurant at night. Really? What is the next one? Really, I never. I never really? have eaten. I never. Okay. Have eaten. Okay. okay. I. Sorry. I will. I will use contractions, right? I never. Um. Have. Uh, eaten. Eaten. Okay. I never have. Oh my gosh. Yes, I never had eaten. Yes? Thai food. Okay, very good. Continue, please. Oh, you should try it. It's delicious. So, what, do you, what do you? What did you order? Sorry. I... What? Oh, very good. What did you tell me? What did you order? Order, yeah, like that? No, you missed the letter D. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Just one tiny thing, right? And that is gone. Okay, thank you. What did you order? Gotcha. First, What is present perfect or past tense? Past tense. I had. Past tense. Yeah, I had. Very good. First, I had soup with green curry. Right. Then I. I tried. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Exactly. And I try. Pad Thai. It's noodles, shrimp, and vegetables. And spicy pasta. Thank you, Pedro. I present perfect or past tense? Present perfect. Yes, very good. So, uh, what is what is the, the the structure? I never have taste. I have not. Oh, and this one is very specific because we have this not. Okay, so that means I haven't tasted. Oh, very good. Haven't taste. I haven't. Uh, okay, I haven't. Very good. I haven't. And then you tell me. Yes. Oh taste. My God, I forgot taste. I forgot. Okay, taste. It. Okay, I forgot taste it. I haven't tasted. Okay. Taste. Taste it. Oh. Geez. I haven't tasted, right? I haven't tasted. 
Um, yes, I haven't tasted pad thai before. And then thai what's before. next? Was. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Do you remember that tiny thing that is called for to be? Here is annoying people, right? Mm -hmm. Was. Was it very hard? No, it's. It wasn't. No, it wasn't. Very good. Oh my gosh. Let me see. Just let me see. Mm, no, because we have here in parentheses, we have affirmative. So we don't need to use no here based on the content. Just spicy enough. See? So I just go directly with the past tense without the no. Yeah. Like yes. usually we say no, it wasn't, right? But oh, here, it, was. um, it looks like we don't need that because of the context. Yes. Just spicy enough. No, it was fine you know. Uh, and after that, I, I have eight. Yes, very good. Okay. Banana. Eight, eight banana and coconut milk for dessert. Very good. So what I want you to notice here is like um take a look. How do how do we start this uh, this quest this conversation? Right? We started this question with with a with a present with a present perfect question, right? Um okay. Yes, and then we combine uh, like the past tense to talk about the experience we had based on the on the context we are talking about. Yes, so we're gonna have um, what time is it? No, I need to move on to the next one. I'm sorry. Give me a minute. Okay, sorry. Very good. nice job. We're gonna have this one. Okay, how did you? Like, what do you see in the picture? Ana Beatriz Martinez. Thank you. You like it. The first question? No, in the picture. What, what do you see in the picture? Okay. I think so is uh, caña, caña de azúcar. And, okay. Very good. What is this thing? Just about it. Yeah, what is this? What's the name of this thing? Uh, beverage? Be beverage? Beverage? ¿Cómo es la palabra? A beverage? Bebida? Beverage? Okay. Glass of juice. Or a drink? Excuse me? Sugar cane juice. Sugar cane juice. Probably, oh. right? Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Based on the picture, that's, that's what it looks like. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, so we have these questions, right? About this use. Have you oh, yeah. ever drunk fresh sugar? Drunk cane? sugar cane. Yes. Okay. So, Camilo, question for you. Have you ever drunk fresh sugar cane? Yes, I have. Okay. Have you ever drunk fresh Excuse sugar me. cane use? Okay, yes. when. Yes, I have. Excuse me? Carry on, carry on. Yes, I have drink fresh sugar cane juice before. Oh, perfect, perfect. Patricia Castellanos, thank you, Camilo. That was great. Patricia Castellanos, have you ever been to a vegetarian restaurant? Yes, I have. Yes, sir. When when did that happen? Uh, uh, I went uh, last month oh, to a vegetarian nice. restaurant. Okay. What kind of food did you have? What kind uh, of food did you have? A salad. <laughs> How was it? Uh, it was delicious. Thank you. What was the price? Um about 10 or 12 dollars okay sounds reasonable sounds reasonable right thank you yes alexis yes. martinez have you ever had an unusual ice cream flavor um no i haven't i never had an unusual ice cream flavor but my Favorite flavor of ice cream is um, 
wrong compasses. I don't know how to say it in, in English. Neither do I. Neither do I, because I, I don't I don't need that thing. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if somebody can tell us how do we can say that kind of uh, ice cream that would be good. Because because I don't I don't I don't have a lot of them. Okay. Do you do you hear the way Ronald Alexis answered? Right. So he gave me a negative answer and then he gave me like, oh, this is my, is my uh, ice cream. Right? This is the one that I have. Right. So that is a good way that you can answer when something is negative. Yes. Also, Camilo was answering like that. Right. Very good. Thank you. Let's work with you, Emilio. Emilio. Good evening. Hello. Hello, Emilio. Puede participar? Yes or no? Yeah, something you don't like. Yes. Uh, no, okay. I think, like, I think I know he doesn't have a chance. Um, Ingrid Maricela. Hello, Ingrid Maricela. Good evening. Um, Hello. Have you ever eaten something that you didn't like? Yes, I have. Um, Sometimes I ate vegetable. I don't like it. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah, vegetables are not delicious, right? But nutritious, yeah? That's for sure. But nutritious. But nutritious. Mirna, Janet Landos. Hello, Mirna. Hello, Tisha. Okay, now you, Mirna, you are going to ask two questions. Two, let me see. Lucia. Lucia Elena. Hello, Lucia Elena. Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, listen, your classmate is going, is going to ask you two questions, the first two, one and two. And then you ask her the other two questions. Sir. Do you understand? Mm, yes. Okay, okay. Let's 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 begin, please. Uh, de estas dos que están ahí. Oh, yes. Yes. Where is, where is Mirna? Mirna? Hello, teacher. Okay, Mirna, one more time. You ask, ask these two questions, one and two, to Lucia. Yes? And then, Lucia, a usted, right? Question three and four. Yes? Um, okay, um, Diana, do you understand? Um, le voy a hacer a Lucía esas dos preguntas primeras. Yes, very good. Y luego ella, okay. estas two. Yep. Ah, okay. okay. Yep. Perfect, yes. let's begin. Um, Lucía, have you ever drunk fresh sugar cane juice? Juice? Uh, yes, yes, I, yes, I, how? Lucia, excuse me, Mia, yeah, I'm sorry. Lucia, now after you say, after you say, yes, I have, you need to give me a past 10 sentence to tell me how was your experience of having this drink, yes? Yes, I haven't. Oh, no. I... Lucia, the answer is positive or negative? Yes, I have. Okay, very good. Now, después de ese sentence, una negative, so you can tell me the experience, okay? Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. Okay. I don't like it. Okay, so I'm not like Lucia, es que oh, me contestó. Uh, yes, I have. Let me let me let me help you. Okay. Me contestó. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Yes. Right? Okay. Ahora, after this, tiene que ir una sentence. Okay. In past tense. Okay. Uh, Para que me hable de la experience of yes. having this thing. Yes. Yes. Yes, I have. I drank last year, oh. last last week. Okay, that's good. Okay. 
you so much. Um, Diana, thank you. Second, uh, uh, have you ever been to a vegetarian restaurant? Uh, yes, mm, yes, I have. Yes, yes I've been. Yes, I yes, I've been. I go, I went the restaurant, the vegetarian. Vegetarian restaurant um, yesterday. Very good, this year. Great job. Okay. Great job. That's good. That's the way, right? Great job. Thank you. Now, you, Lucia, ask Mirna these two questions, please. Okay. Have you ever had an usual, unusual ice cream flavor? Uh, yes, I have. On flower, uh, rum con paso. No sé si lo dije bien. Very good. So, yes, I have. One more time. Very good. Yes, I have. That is correct. Yes, I have. Yes, uh, you know, I have, right? And then, lo mismo, right? Una sentence in past. Que me puede contestar when you did that or how was it? Yes? Okay. So, um, very good. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I have, and then the sentence in past, Mirna, okay? Okay. Entonces sería, eh, yes, I have, mm -hmm. eh, I was, Ir no, or, a, or I? I? Ir. It or I? It. Okay, very good, yes. It is flower. Um, oh. Because if you use was, tiene que darme un, un adjective. Oh, yeah, right. adjective. Mm -hmm. Un adjective. Uh, like it was, and then an adjective that describes the flavor of, of the uh, ice cream. Es que describe pues como era, right? Yeah, the, the, oh. the ice cream. <laughs> You're doing very good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so you can say, so you can say, like, it was okay, and then an adjective. Yes. Ah. Like, uh, yes. say, uh, yes, I have. It was flower. No, mm. tiene que darme un adjective porque usted ya probó el el el, el unusual ice cream. Right? Usted ya se lo comió, right? Entonces. <laughs> Yes, tiene que decirme how, how was it. Yes. Mm. Entonces tiene que buscar un adjetivo que vaya con comidas, right? Yep. Uh, sería entonces adjetivo. Um... Un adjetivo, por ejemplo, cuando usted se come lunch. Delicious. Yes. Ok, cuando usted se come lunch, ¿cuáles son los adjetivos que ocupa una comida, right? Yes. Rico. Uh huh. Yes. It was delicious. It was. Um, good. It was, good. was great. It was great. Exactly. It was fantastic. It was yeah. Yes. Amazing. You can oh, use different. Uh, horrible. <laughs> yeah. Very good. So uh, what is okay. it? That's me. Oh my gosh. What was it? Jesus. Oh, uh, delicious. Okay. Yeah, it was delicious. Espérame que esa cosa se trabó. Sorry. Okay, very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I'm sorry. It's because of the time. We won't be able to answer the last one. Okay. No, but that's that's the way it goes, right? It's like, if the, if the answer is like positive, like uh, you can use uh, the past tense to tell me the experience of that thing. Also, oh. if the answer is negative, um, but you can give me different comments. You can use like the simple past tense to, to close the idea, 
But also you can use comments like the ones that um, your classmates did, like, for example, Camilo did a really good example, okay? Also Alexis, they say a really good example when they answer with answer, okay? So, thank you so much for being here, people. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Uh, don't forget that tomorrow we have classes, okay? So please be here tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay. Good night. Thank, thank you. you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.